Jeff Grob, things things have gone bad. Jana Cho, this uh, um, are you hiding behind a cow carcass? I I think I am. I didn't intend on doing it, but we're playing a plague tale requiem, and unintentional intestine, uh, bovine intestine. You got it, buddy. Um, okay. This is the rat game. This is the game with all the rats. Um, if you tuned in earlier, Jeff Grubb and I attempted to do a quick look of it, but all the rats chewed up my computers and my frames. Yeah, I got rats in the system. You never want that. Oh, okay. Okay, so I shouldn't go balls to the wall in crafting the Ignis. Got it. Uh, yeah, how often are you coming across crafting materials? Uh, as long as I've been exploring and I'll find random chests with more stuff in it. Uh, so, so the, oh my god, the guy, I feel bad now. Um, you did that. That's you. I did do that. That's my fault. That guy might have been a piece of crap. Oh, that was fast. Well, you got rats really in the system. Rats. Um, this is a sequel to a plague, a plague tale innocence. I don't know why I keep wanting to add like apostrophe s to a plague's tale. Uh, yes, but it belongs to the plague, plague from uh, the, the the movie Hackers. <laughs> I've not. Okay, uh, I've not there's thought a, of the movie there's Hackers in a, in a movie bit. called The Plague. So there you go. <laughs> Fantastic. You're um, welcome. Like I mentioned in that initial video, uh, two things, Jeff. One, I have not played the original Plague Tale. Um, yeah, who has? A couple I'm sure people. Lots of people have. Neither of us have. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Oh, oh, what's happening? Him? That this is why. What? Why? I I made the rats eat the guy, because it's this is a stealth game well, and we can't get caught. Let's you know. Let's be clear here. You did not make the rats do anything. You just turned out the guy's light and some shit happened. Right? What can you do about that? Yes. Yes. Uh, so you what listen, I do? No court in the land would convict you. Oh, that's him now. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. We maybe never mind. Yeah, we totally never mind. did You're that. You're evil. You're evil. We really unalived that guy. Um, yes, we did. <laughs> gosh, I'm so caught up with trying to make sure that this video is fine that I'm forgetting how to. What it this looks game good. is. It looks real good. I'm watching on the stream. It looks good. All right, cool, cool, cool. So this is a stealth game, and as we said in that previous quick look, this kind of falls under the the triple I category, where yes. it's technically an indie game, but this is like not quite a triple A game. Because this looks yep. amazing, and and you know, due to our capture constraints, this isn't completely doing the game justice. Um, but this is a fantastic looking game, in terms of like the setting and like the lighting. Um, they do a bunch of different stuff with the environment here. Uh, let's just grab some pot. That's fun. Um, so what folks will probably know about a play the Plague Tale series is that it's just a bunch of rats. There's a bunch it's of rats bunch everywhere. It's a bunch of rats on rats. Yeah, and they, uh, they don't, that, well, they do like you. They like you a lot. They want to eat you. Um, yeah. But they don't like light. And so oh, it's a, it seems like, oh, oh, that guy, oh, wow, he just disintegrated. Um, it, it seems like it's a lot of puzzles based on figuring out how to navigate the world. And uh, it gets very gross and very intense pretty quickly here with the, in these, uh, these you know, navigation sections. Uh, yes. That's what I've seen so far from you playing in front of me anyhow. Yeah, um, and, and the stealth not only factors in all of these rats, but the, the human mobs and human enemies, uh, because our characters here are very fragile. Um, we can probably just get caught once, and if you have a dagger on your persons, you can use that to escape said counter encounter. Um, and I'm really, really enjoying a lot, a lot of this game so far. This is about two-ish hours in. This is the third chapter of the game. And it's pretty much followed this loop of going from point A to point B. Um, with the in-between parts being a lot of stealth. All right, let's just, let's just rig wriggle on through. Um, but the parts where it differentiates is, is how you choose to attack or, I guess, navigate these, these stealth encounters. Um, we could try and like barrel through the middle there, uh, but we've chosen to kind of go through the sides of the buildings here. Um, and light is very important. Light from yeah, fire. Kinda, kinda, 
yeah, call out here, like, what are the op opportunities you're seeing? Because I'm, I'm watching, I see a lot of enemies, I see a lot of rats. Right. Uh, like, what, like, what are your, your paths forward from this point? So what we could do here is, um, we could obviously, not obviously, but we could definitely light up this torch here with our sling. Okay. Um, and that'll and dispel the rats. Okay, and scares off the rats, right. Right. They don't like the light. And because of that, we can also choose to extinguish some light, and that's how we got the dude from earlier. Um, actually, we can just bean this dude. How do we feel about that? Yeah. Just right in the dome. What wow, he doesn't... Idiot. Okay. And what a dead idiot. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh... So... <laughs> Jesus Christ, so much going on in this <laughs> game right now. Um, oh no, the herbalist. I don't want them to be attacked by the rats. No, we want, we want to get that herb. We need that herb. Hmm. No. Should we... Wait, we can... I don't know uh, the my wife guy. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, uh -oh. no. Oh, that we, got crossed off your list. Something fierce. Uh, we didn't save a... Uh, we lost a friend. Is that a friend? Well, either way, he's gone. Ooh, I like... Was that, <gasps> was that UI element just blown up in smoke? Okay, so that is a p part where the game can branch because Ooh. we accidentally killed the herbalist that we needed to save. But our brother here, who's into alchemy, was like, no, 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 it's cool, it's cool, I know what to look for. We didn't mess up. <laughs> um, we did, we definitely did mess up. We definitely we, messed up. We but... messed up, yeah. Okay. But we could salvage it. I'm, I'm just going to restart for the checkpoint here. Yeah, I no, don't... I want to see, see what the alternative is here. This is great. Okay, so... Another thing in this game, um, the systems have been fairly light so far. So there's a light crafting system. Um, here we can craft some of the uh, ignifer ammo which we can combine with some pots or just throw with our hands or the sling we're using we can only and you're getting these items uh, like all the time i like we, i think we just passed a couple things where you picked yep. up some items that you could use to make this stuff yes and then we can craft okay. ig uh extinguish 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 that extinguishes flames and everything um there's also workbenches that we can come across but uh, I don't think we'll come across one in this area. So, all right. What we did last time is we bopped this dude with just a regular rock. Right. And I kind of like that. I don't know if we'll get rock his head bobster. here. All right. He's dead. And now even more dead. And then we'll set this one. Catch Flame. this one on fire. Okay. So what we could do if we flammable? wanted to be spicy here. Is put out his flame, so he oh, won't have that torch by him. Oh right. Oh. oh, do I have any more juice? I don't have any more juice. All right. Well, I'll get make some more juice. Do we have enough? Okay, he sees us, oh. but he doesn't. Okay. I don't know if he wants to come. Yeah, because he doesn't have his torch, so he can oh, come no, out here. Oh no, the herbalist died again. <laughs> okay, he's very fragile. Okay. Well, you know what. Maybe he's supposed to die. You won't make it in that state. Yeah, maybe. All right. Let's craft some of this. I'm glad he's dead. Yeah, yeah. All right. And then, so what we can do here is pretty much with all of these different arms, our sling, our actual arm, and a, a pot, we can use those as projectiles and combine them to do stuff like this. Oh, it didn't work. Did it work? They did that, no doubt. Oh, it didn't work how I wanted it to, but... And... Get him, rats! There you go. So that dude is still kind of looking at us, but he can't yeah, he's quite. Like, he's, pissed. he's like, you put out my torch! <laughs> uh, I'm gonna yell at you really loud from over here. You could just chill out. Um, yeah. Alright. This might be a little hairy. I'll, oh, God, oh, that's just my brother. <laughs> All right, maybe this is. Oh, no. It's 
fine. Let's just run across the fire. All right, cool. Okay. So, so this is another thing. If we had seen it, we could have hit this little uh, cloth pile there to disperse mm -hmm. these flames. Uh, and, and get then rid that, of that guy, that first guy you hit with a rock, would that have been him? Uh, I would have been the two dudes with the herbalist. Okay. Um, okay. And, and, and then, you know, the, the puzzles will, will vary, and then the access to tools will also differ. Like here, we get these sticks, and these sticks we can either use as temporary torches, or with L2 we can just chuck them where we need to chuck them. Yeah, chuck them. Like there? Oh, okay. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, chill, wow. chill, 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 chill. Oh, um, man, I'm um, just a little nibble. I really want to try and save that herbalist, but I don't know if we can now. Yeah, I saw someone in chat say, uh, as we're doing this live, that they tried to save the herbalist for 30 minutes and never could do it. Okay. I feel less bad then. Yep. All I'm right. glad he's dead, like I said. Yeah. So, so this has been the flow of the game where you will have, like, a, a stealth encounter and then a mild moment of reprieve where you can kind of, mm -hmm. like, gather your bearings and just come to terms with, like, oh, God, I just fought or navigated a bunch of rats and puzzles now uh, does the rat level ever come down so the game start these rats just got introduced maybe about an hour or so ago and i'm only under the assumption that the rat level is just going to keep climbing oh wait what did our yeah it's say? It, we've seen like yeah there's a lot of rats but there's like parts where you go to the edge of the map, and there's just a sea of rats. Yes. It's really spooky. Yeah, maybe... Okay, we gotta navigate some more. Didn't quite get what our brother said there, but whatevs. Oh, I yeah. guess this part of the forest isn't <laughs> encumbered with rats. I don't know, maybe rats, what are they gonna do out here? Eat some trees? I don't think so. Exactly, exactly. Um, but yeah, I've, I've really been enjoying this. Um, I don't think you quite need to play the first Plague Tale to get the gist of this. Uh, just, there's a bunch of rats, and everything is bad. I think we're safe now. And it's, you know, that first one is, uh, widely available and relatively affordable, so if you want to, you can, but, uh, this one, this one's on Game Pass, and so you can hop right into it, and I don't blame a lot of people who, who might do that. Like, yes. I, I was, the, I was considering it, and I was not gonna go back to play the first one. Yeah. The, the story, they, they don't do the last on Plague Tale type of thing, but they do the characters as soon as the rats get reintroduced they're like no it's happening again no <laughs> um versus having a full-on like this is what happened and this is how the plagues yeah. got here focus, focus. the rats have a delta variant now oh no it's all right. okay we're just looking for some flowers no, for our little bro it's all right just keep looking you didn't right. mess up completely like that time you let the herbalist die you're doing okay looking for flowers if only you let him live, then this process would have been a lot easier. You wouldn't have to press a triangle so much. Oh, that's not it. You're pressing that's triangle a lot. Here, Lucas. I know. Let's check the house. Yes. It yeah, is he's dead. This is our house now. Oh, he had a wife that we were cool with. God, oh, okay. True. You must be joking. It's all junk. <laughs> this is going no way. Now I'm not even there for him. How will we even get back? <laughs> oh, man. That's a sweaty. Amicia here. Is going through some stuff. Yeah, she is not handling this well. Okay, so, you know, that was a mild moment there where we got to just take a breath. And it looks like we got another uh, instance. Oh, man. We got another instance where we got to navigate and, and stealth. There's, there's, and, and these moments, like these little missions here, or side missions or whatever you want to call them, they really remind me of segments of the last of us part two except yeah. you know as as ellie or as joel you had a lot more tools at your disposal you're you're fighting a lot more you can actually go yeah, you in get a lot more offense yeah exactly here you literally just have a sling and your little alchemic brother here um <laughs> and and i guess the rats to to an extent so you really do have to play patiently um i I don't know how long I can take playing this game, though, because yeah, the the stealth elements or the stealth segments, they're not particularly long, but, you know, we had a user just say that they tried saving the herbalist for 30 minutes. I could easily see myself trying to keep replaying segments to get the best possible outcome. Um, 
It's okay, Amicia. It's fine. We tried recording the quick look earlier. And it was framey. Yeah, we're back. We're here for you. I, this is so. I mean, like you, you touched on Triple I. I mean, this, it, this is a full price game for the most part. Six dollars. It's not a seventy dollar game, but it's, yes. it's up there. But but it is on Game Pass, and it, I don't. To me, this is a good sign that games continue to be here, right? and that they put out sequel relatively quickly after the last one. That last one was from right. three or four years ago. It's okay. They a team like Asobo, which is um, the same team that Flight Simulator, they can also work on something like this and put it out and give. Uh, I, I, I give people who are into these types of games more options than just the biggest, most highest budget games in the world, like Last of Us right. and a few handful of others. Yeah, I, I think uh, there being a space for games like this and Scorn, where mm -hmm. you can have like a really brave. G oh, what happened to our brother? Um, where you can have a really brave game that looks visually dynamic and mm -hmm. can give folks the option of like, hey, I don't really like playing like a triple A shooter, but I want the experience, a, a similar experience. Like, yo, this is right up your alley. And I, th I think we're more than safe. You know, we, we yes. still have a bright future. Exactly. Um, God, like see like this environment, you know, we're in a different place now, just like a couple feet away from where we were with those rats in that village on fire. But this looks like great, like how the, Yes. How the light's peeking through the trees here and landing on the foliage. It's, oh, it's still kind of grim in the, in the way that it's uh, thematically, uh, uh, you know, consistent with what the rest of the game has done. Uh, but it also feels uh, n like a nice place to be. So, again, that, that respite you were talking about where you can, uh, you're getting away. If, like, the rats were too much, well, now take a breather. Like, it's still, this is still dramatic and, and, and like, you still have um, a lot of tension building up here. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's a different kind of tension, and I like that. Yeah. Like, so for instance, these enemies, because they have helmets, we can't just take them out with our sling. Um, we could do a silent strike, but it does cause a lot of noise. Um, I, I don't remember if we used our dagger. I don't think we did. But the other option here for, for upgrades is actually all kind of passive, I want to say. Oh, hey, what the? I was chucking a skill tree late, dude. Hey. All right. Well, I Uncool. stabbed them. I stabbed them. Well, that's what he gets. Oh, oh I, I, and someone else got you, I think. I guess I died. Um, All right, then. I just want to show off the skill tree real quick, and then we'll we'll quickly try and speed through this. Um, the skill tree upgrades depending on how you play the game. So if you are trying to just avoid a bunch of people and just get by, you're going to upgrade your prudence meter, I guess. Um, if you're playing a little bit more aggressive and getting rid of enemies by pushing them into perhaps rats, that'll upgrade... Um, the one that we've got upgrading right now is opportunism, and that's just you upgrade that by crafting all these dollar dues over her. Um, okay, okay. Yeah, it seems pretty like it seems straight, but like this is a game that you're meant to probably beat pretty quickly. It's um, it's not meant to overwhelm you with a bunch of options. It's like yeah, yeah, you no, you do have some options in how you're going to spec out your stuff or how you're going to approach right. things. But it's like I think like you said, there's not a ton of systems. It no. is, you're going to go into this world, you're going to have your your handful of options in every scenario, and, you know, make some choices. Like, we'll give you that much, but it's, we're not going to uh, give you this large branching tree, either in the narrative or in the gameplay or in your skill trees. And I think that's fine. There's space for that, and that, that's where it feels maybe most like an indie game, but in a refreshing way, where it's like, hey, yeah, let's be, let's be what we're going to be. We don't have to be much more than that. Oh. So if you get an enemy that is kind of like on your scent, you can, oh, 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 stab, stab. Anyone else see that? I don't see shit. No one saw that. I yeah. kind of want Team Asobo or, or, did we get yeah, the dagger Asobo. back? Asobo. Yeah. I kind of want Asobo, like now playing this segment here, just like amongst the foliage and stuff and how good this looks. I kind of want them to make a, Game based off of the movie Prey. Okay, yeah, totally. Like, or like, you, for, and for people like maybe no, no, that's you know a Predator game, uh, but you know in the Predator universe. Yes, yes. I feel like they could nail it. Just yeah. like we're gonna nail this dude in the head. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well. All right. All right. All right. That's the way we do it. Okay, okay, so we're navigating through. Let them get away with this. 
Yeah, they're all uh, distracted by their buddy who's gotten blonked on the head. We're good. Just dying. Idiots. Um, okay, I think we're kind of, like, zooming through here. Uh, a thing I wish we did have was, like, maybe, like, an equivalent to, like, eagle vision or, like, the the listening you can do in The Last of Us. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I, I guess that, that that lends to, you know, the actual tension of this game. I don't think there's anyone. Okay, okay, shut up. Shh. You don't see us. quiet. We're quiet. Okay. All right. All right. Better sweep another area. You don't have to. Oh, we can just beam this dude. Yeah. Uh-oh. Guy behind you is uh, coming. Throw a rock. Idiot. <laughs> Jamal. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> this is how I play stealth games. I panically run. Yeah. We just kind of waddle like a duck. Get up. Okay. Well. Okay. Well. All right. All right. This is going to go well. That body's been there for a while. Yeah. So if we didn't want the full wind up with our sling here, we could just throw a rock with our hand. Um, mm -hmm. It's not going to travel as far. Where did that other dude go? He's just right there. Does it do like less damage to the, to the enemies or something? Yeah, you can't take them out. Okay. You can't take them out by throwing the rock. You you just uh, distract them. Yeah. Okay. All right, into the bush. Yeah, just climb up that frosting. That sweet video game design frosting. Video game frosting. <laughs> yep. Okay. Oh, we're so close. I kind of want to just see if we can just go for it, huh? Yeah, we got we got this. Okay, we, there's one dude there. There's another guy there. Maybe we'll just try and do this. We're away from his line of sight. Oh. I'm sure. Nope, nothing. Nothing to see here, man. Not, yeah, now he's distracted. Maybe you can run around, around him or something. Okay. We're just gonna go this way. He's dead. I swear I'll find the murderer. No, I you won't. swear I'll find the murderer in your eyes. What is this? Is this just a bunch of junk? It's like a bunch of tires? No. Oh, he's looking down Almost. below now. Interesting. Oh, 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 God. Okay. Uh-oh. Shut up. Not you. Nani. I want to see if I can actually strangle him. There's no one else this around. Is... <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, nope. Uh-oh. Nope. Uh, run! Who did that? Who, wow, what happened? Okay, let's just throw a rock with our hand. This is very tense. Like this is very effective. This is what this whole section's been great. Okay, you're great. You're golden. Can we just throw a rock over there or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Distract him. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Well, he's looking underneath there. Idiot. Yeah, there's nothing under there. Let's just throw a pot. Let's see. They did that. No doubt. I did do that. I did that. Did I do that? <laughs> uh, okay, okay, okay. Oh. Video game frosting. I think I'm supposed to go through this door. Please be alive, please. Please be the end of the segment. <laughs> Yeah, you can lock it. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. If you don't help, he will die. There we go. <laughs> What's up, bro? Diggy dunk on the old dome. Chef Grub, that has been a Plague Tale Requiem. Uh, I apologize. I'll play, a little, I'll play a little sad song for this game because it's so so tense and so dramatic. I'm really into it. 
I, I apologize if this wasn't the most organized quick look. A little thrown off about the uh, capture problems we got going on. Um, but yo. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think we did a good job showing off, like, what people could uh -oh. expect from this game. I'm supposed to survive this? How am I going Okay, I don't know how I'm going to survive this. Uh... Jesus. Now it turns into Gears of War. Oh in my god. Section. How? How am I supposed to survive this? Mm. I just got not that way. stabbed with a spear. Not that way. All right. Okay. Well, I think that about calls it. Uh, Jeff Grubb, thank you again. And, and thank Thanks, you. Dan. Thank you to the rats for not eating us. But hey, the rats Shout would help out, to out the here. Rats. Bye, everybody.